In this video we are going to reload a 3D Potter extruder with a fresh tube of clay. To do this we need to remove the old tube first and remove any clay from it that might be left over. There are 16 screws that secure the tube to the extruder, 8 on the top and 8 on the bottom. It is very important that you run the retraction program before removing these screws. If the retraction program is not run, the tube is under pressure, and when the screws get removed, they will strip the threadings. It's best to use hand tools when removing screws from the extruder. If you use power tools, there's a high chance that threads could get stripped. With the top 8 screws off, we can remove the gearbox assembly. It is very important to make sure that no debris get on the Acme screw. This can happen from touching the inside of the polycarbonate tube or being set down on a dirty surface. Now that all of the screws are out, we are going to need to move the nozzle adapter and the piston to the new tube. We're also going to remove the two screws that secure the square anti-rotator. We're going to use the anti-rotator to push out the remaining clay out of the old tube. You can use another object as well, such as the cardboard tube we used in our pug mill operation video. If you are going to be using the anti-rotator, be sure that no clay gets inside of it. It is very important that the inside of the anti-rotator stays free of dust and debris, just like the Acme screw. Here the Acme screw is being placed on the table. If done so, make sure that it is properly cleaned after. We're going to take the anti-rotator and place it evenly on the top of the piston. We will then turn the tube upside down and pull down on the tube to remove the remaining clay. The easiest way to remove the nozzle adapter and the piston from the remaining clay is to twist them. You will need to clean the piston and the nozzle adapter. If you are going to use a tool to clean the seal, make sure that it is soft and blunted. You do not want to damage the seals. We are also going to scoop some of the clay out of the nozzle adapter. We will now put the cleaned piston and nozzle adapter onto a fresh tube. Be sure to remove wet paper towels if they were used. To put the piston and nozzle adapter on easier, we're going to spray on some soapy water. Make sure that the seal does not fold in on itself and is in the correct position. If there is an airtight seal, you can poke a hole through the remaining clay that is in the nozzle adapter. To prevent threads from stripping, it is safer to start all of the screws by hand and then using a tool to secure them the rest of the way. These screws are only acting as pins, similar to the pins that we attach the tube to the pug mill with. If they are over tightened, they will strip the threads. We're going to add some soapy water to the piston as well as to the walls of the tube in order for it to slide down easier. You will want to have as small as an air gap as possible in between the piston and the clay. As you can see here, the piston is making direct contact with the clay. Before reinstalling the gearbox, you will want to visually inspect the Acme screw. If the white lithium grease looks gray, or you see debris on the Acme screw, it should be cleaned. We're going to take a drill with the ram driver tool included with the extruder. 
We are then going to hold a microfiber cloth to the Acme screw while unscrewing it. We now need to re-lubricate the Acme screw with fresh white lithium grease. Be sure that it is rubbed in evenly. We are also going to add some more grease to the anti-rotator. The goal of this system is to reduce friction as much as possible. For best results, you should use a narrow, thin, long tool to spread the grease down inside the anti-rotator. We are now going to reattach the tube to the gearbox assembly. With the tube reattached to the gearbox, you should slide the anti-rotator back on to protect the Acme screw from dust and debris. This step can also be done earlier. Nozzles that are used with 3D Potter printers have a concave section on them which lines up with the set screw on the nozzle adapter. Don't over tighten a set screw. You could strip the threads or crack the nozzle. The tightness should be just enough to have the nozzle set in place. To pre-prime the extruder you can rotate the anti-rotator in a clockwise direction. You can continue doing this operation until it becomes too difficult to do by hand, or until clay comes out the other side. Before we put the screws back in, we will rotate it counterclockwise a few rotations, just to take the pressure off. Be sure to put back the two screws on top of the anti-rotator. These can be put in by hand. The anti-rotator during normal operation does not rotate. We now have a fully loaded clay tube ready to be used on a 3D Potter printer.